the ability to see. Most of us take it for granted. From the moment we wake up to when we go to sleep, the human eye is constantly working and adjusting to observe and process everything around us. But this ability to focus on things near and far begins to decline as we age. Inevitably, at some point in our lives, we all suffer from a condition called presbyopia. Presbyopia is a process whereby there's decreased elasticity of the crystal lens and focusing muscle of the eye. Um, this affects the process of accommodation, whereby the lens increases its optical power to focus on objects at near. This age-related decline in accommodation, or the ability to focus, affects 100% of the population by age 60. Symptoms become noticeable between 40 and 50 years of age, with most people complaining of no longer being able to read small or fine print. Presbyopia has a number of symptoms. The most common symptoms are eye strain, eye fatigue, or just blurring it near. People notice that they're having to push their newspaper further and further away to see it, or they have to put on reading glasses to be able to see the fine print. While many people opt for reading glasses to correct presbyopia, there are other more permanent alternatives. Lens replacement surgery involves removing the weakened crystalline lens and implanting an intraocular lens, or IOL, with the goal of restoring the eye's natural focusing ability. Intraocular lens implant surgery works by replacing the natural lens with a lens that combines the power of their glass or contacts and their natural lens in one product. So the lens goes inside the eye like a contact lens and replaces the eye's natural lens. There are several types of IOLs to consider when choosing lens replacement surgery. For clear distance vision, a monofocal IOL provides the best clarity, while a multifocal IOL is usually the best alternative for near vision. Yet neither can improve all ranges of vision. The drawback of the standard intraocular lens is that while it allows for clear distance vision, patients still need to wear glasses for intermediate and up close vision. The multifocal lenses have different zones for to allow the patient to see at distance and near, but have drawbacks of their own, including glare and halos, difficulty with night driving, and sometimes patients complain of a waxy type of vision. Using a completely different method of focusing light is a newer option called the crystal lens. Considered an accommodating lens, it mimics the movement of the eye's ciliary muscle, allowing users to focus on the subject at hand, whether near, far, or in between. The accommodating lens works by its revolutionary design with a hinge, and the hinge allows the lens to flex forward and backwards within the eye. When it flexes, it changes the focal power of the lens. So when the lens is backwards, it sees well in the distance. When it's in an intermediate position, it sees well at intermediate distance, like computer distance. When it flexes forward, it's thought to see up close for reading distance. There are other mechanisms by which it might work, by an arching mechanism, or by aberrations, but the lens tends to see quite well in a vast majority of ranges. This breakthrough in technology, the crystal lens, is going to impact the industry by expanding the ability of more and more doctors to be able to provide this care for their patients and allow them to experience visual freedom for the first time. One practice that clearly sees the benefits of technologies like crystal lens and other valuable proven methods is Southwest Eye Institute. By providing the very latest advancements in eye care, Southwest Eye Institute has helped thousands of people see better for more than 20 years. Located in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Institute has embraced the newest innovations in vision correction technology and has refined procedures such as LASIK refractive surgery. Dr. David Mallitz has built a reputation for using the most up-to-the-minute applications while never forgetting the importance of providing highly individualized care. The mission of the Southwest Eye Institute is to provide high quality, affordable eye care to a great number of people, restoring their visual function and allowing them to experience visual freedom for the first time. The Crystal Lens is breakthrough technology. It's a revolutionary design advancement, the first of its kind that's been approved by the FDA. We expect that this kind of technology will continue to grow and continue to allow people to experience visual freedom for glasses independence for distance, intermediate, and up close and become the dominant technology for future generations. As soon as I sat up, as soon as I lay, when I was laying back, when I cleaned my eye, I looked up, I could see everything. And when I sat up, I could tell the difference. You could see everything. It's absolutely perfect. Crystal lens is the only way to go. 
The procedure takes only about 10 minutes in my hands. It's done with the most advanced technology with no stitches, no patches, or even no needles. Patients see right away after surgery. Southwest Eye Institute has enhanced countless lives by eliminating the need for glasses or contact lenses. I used to wear Coke bottle glasses. After I came to Southwest Eye Institute and had the crystal lens procedure, I was able to basically throw my glasses away and now I can see crystal clear. We at Southwest Eye Institute want to provide the highest quality of care and allow our patients to see and live life again.